Educators say half the battle of teaching is keeping students engaged. The New Haven Interdistrict Magnet Schools offer many specialized programs based on students' interests. Here to fill us in is Robert Canelli, the supervisor of the New Haven Magnet Schools, along with Greg Greg Krizar. How did I do? Karar. Karar. I was Karar. close. And your close. your child is in kindergarten at one of the magnet schools. Correct. My child is in kindergarten. Very good. So, Robert, tell us a little bit about what separates a magnet sure. school. Um, magnet schools are different for a variety of reasons. Uh, the first is that you have to apply to get in. Um, they're still public schools. Um, students are chosen by lottery. Every school is in a uh, brand new state-of-the-art facility, and every school has um, a step that's very motivated, uh, class sizes are a little bit smaller, and they're all in brand new buildings. So Great. And uh, Greg, which school does your child go to? Uh, Morrow Sheridan, which is a science and technology and communication school on Fountain Street in New Haven. And tell me about the process. How did this all get underway? Yeah, a few years back, my wife and I ran, ran into a friend that felt that uh, he should educate us on New Haven and the value. Uh, we do come from the suburbs, mm -hmm. um, and we looked into um, the uh, the magnet school the, system. The magnet yeah. school system. Mm -hmm. um, at the, at which point we um, explored the uh, New Haven Fieldhouse had a uh, um, educational fair, and going through the educational fair, it was uh, imperative that we saw what was occurring. The um, sure displays what the education the would be did. like. Yeah. In fact, we're looking at some uh, video right now. Robert, what is it? This is a, a commercial or some of the activities. Yes, this is one of the two commercials that we uh, we have as part of our recruiting process. And um, these commercials are seen uh, throughout uh, the district and also in the suburbs. They're actually playing in the movie theaters. And basically, uh, this, this shows some of the uh, different themes that we have. Every school has a, a different theme, everywhere from performing arts to science and technology to environmental science. Um, we have everything. We have a new business academy at, at that just opened as well. So those themes are, I think, what really attracts uh, the parents and students and what Greg was saying is that going to our magnet fairs it's like shopping um, like a college fair sure you know we have booths set up and each school is represented it and s parents can go around with and sort of pick and choose and see what's best I Greg I think it's important to note you mentioned you lived in the suburbs but you're sending your child to school mm -hmm. in the inner city here yeah um, you know I felt that the foundation provided by the New Haven magnet system was imperative uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the 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 focus that they provide in pre-k starting in pre-K and complementing that into kindergarten, which is a full long day, uh, is just sure. remarkable. Great. And uh, is there a cost to enroll? No cost at all. And uh, it's free transportation, except for pre-K. Uh, Pre-K, parents do bring their students in. But uh, we, we offer free transportation, uh, f free uh, pre-K. It's uh, no tuition at all. And, and it's just, um, just a wonderful program. And we're finding that each year we're getting more and more applications really? from all over. Yes. And we do have to have a balance. We have 35% uh, of our students come from the suburbs and 65% come from New Haven. So we have to have that balance for diversity. And that's the other important part of being a magnet school. Mm -hmm. And diversity. you mentioned there was a lottery. Is there stiff competition here? Yes. There's yeah. usually 8,000 applications for maybe 2,500 seats. Oh, wow. And I know, Greg, you know, you as a parent from uh, the suburbs, I know I, my, the parents are always kind of worried about what's going to happen and so forth. Um, but we do create waiting lists. Uh, yeah, okay. For those of you who don't get in, you get numbers. and. Some of those students that are on waiting lists get in. And run me through some of the schools again. Well, the, one of the schools that I was principal of was the Morrow Sheridan School, where Greg's child is. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have a partnership at NASA, and it's a science and technology school, communications, and it has a TV studio. Wow. Where we can do That's Connecticut, perfect. We could do Connecticut <laughs> style. <laughs> bring from it there. on the road, right? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Robert, tell me about uh, some upcoming events where people can learn some more information. We have. Um, we have two great magnet fairs coming up. One's okay. January 4th at the Field House um, at 6, at six o'clock, mm -hmm. and that's mainly for New Haven uh, folks. And then we have one on Saturday, January 14th at Career High School for mainly suburban folks. And those are very well attended. We also send the applications out in brochures to all of the schools in New Haven and our partners out there uh, in the suburbs as well. Um, you could also go on our website, New Haven Public Schools, and. Uh, you could see some of what we do online, and you could see each school. Great. And Greg, what's the, the response been from your, your child? <clears throat> it's, it's remarkable to see how successful my child has been. Um, mm -hmm. It is a true curriculum provided from pre-K to kindergarten. So we feel that our child's at a wonderful advantage relative to uh, the rest of society. Great. All right, so again, we have uh, those upcoming fairs. 
All the information was up on your screen. In fact, we'll do it, do it again for you here. Wednesday, January 4th, 6 to 8 at the New Haven Athletic Center. And then uh, the next one is going to be uh, Saturday, January 14th, 12 to 2 at Hill Regional Career High School. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here and getting the message out. Thanks again for yeah. having us, Teresa. All right. It. Thank you.